Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's Eve. I just got finished streaming on New Year's Eve, actually. Actually, funny enough, it was the day of New Year's Eve. Um, and I thought I'd record this intro just to say, hope you guys were safe and it was a lot of fun. We're jumping into part two of a series with Verge here. We did a no big boost challenge where we had to play without grabbing the big boost in the corners in the middle. Uh, this time we're doing without handbrake. So basically we have to learn how to strategically turn in a bigger line and basically still be able to challenge and still make plays and stuff. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. Uh, we're gonna be trying to do a 1v1 this time. This is the second second part of this video series. We have no handbrakes. <laughs> it's already feeling weird. I, I kind of have I kind of have like an idea of some strategy that you can put into it. Um, with, turning with like being able to turn quicker. So okay, to catch you off guard with some of it. Like letting go of the brakes or like hitting the brakes and stuff. I see what you're talking about. Maybe. Not, not quite, but maybe. I save. No, don't do that. I feel like, for some reason, it feels weird because I'm like, can I still... The, my yeah, my air roll <laughs> button is like... Yeah. Is the same no, button and it almost feels like I can't touch it. But we've cleared the binding yeah, I, so we can't touch it at all. I go to touch it in, um, in a turn and I'm like, why am I not turning as fast as I want to? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't drift! Try. I can't yeah, drift! Can't I forgot! Yeah, you can't cut that. Oh, <gasps> what a double. Oh man, yeah, that's actually, dumb. that's such a weird feeling to, to <laughs> air roll, but then land and not drift into it. Yep. I'm right there with you. Okay. Yeah, we can grab big boosts now though. That's like one yeah, thing. Yeah, I know. Like, my brain at first was steering me away from them for a little bit. Nice flick. Oh! oh. Oh, I couldn't power slide to recover better there. No, I missed it. Okay, I can air roll. That's right. Yeah, I gotta remember to just <laughs> click the button. It's weird. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I think if I didn't have the same button, it would be a little bit easier, but this actually makes it a little bit harder. Yeah, you kind of have to tell yourself when you can and can't use it. <laughs> yeah. Instead I mean, it's unbound for me, so like I just, uh, I could just hold air, air, air roll. No, oh, no, the too, turns! <laughs> look, at, look, look at me! You just took off. No, I watch, saw it. watch, it's so funny. You started boosting, like, ready to power Ooh. slide. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, like, it, it's it, it's definitely weird being able to press it. But, um, what was I, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought now. I don't remember. Okay. Or, I, I mean, I don't, I can't remember. It's your brain, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, gonna give me some space here. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Oh no! I gotta focus on the save though. Um, I was gonna say that when I press it to power slide on accident, my brain is like ready to see my car do what I think it's that's gonna what do. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. I'm having that trouble. Like I can still air roll like here. You're anticipating your movement, but it just never comes. I save. Do you still play a lot of ones or no? Um, I haven't played Rocket League in general in a couple weeks but when i play rocket league consistently yes i always throw ones into my daily routine yeah, yeah I, I enjoy them I, I once i put the time into it and understood that you have to just be in a different mindset like it's just like that the no big boost pads it's just a different mindset that you have to put yourself in and then the game mode makes sense yeah once because, you like, like get used to the struggle, muscle memory yeah my biggest struggle in ones was always just like i i wouldn't i wouldn't play it i would be playing it like it was twos or threes and I'll get mad at myself and I'll make a mistake. But then like, I started thinking of ones as more of like, just don't make mistakes. That's your priority score when you can. That's when it started to make more sense to me. And I was like, okay, cool. I can do this. Nice 50. Thanks. I think I, did I 50 it? I didn't even like bounce off. I think I just faked it, but. Yeah, it, it was a low 50 from my view, but maybe I didn't touch it. Oh yeah, yeah. I see, yeah. Just drove away from it a little bit. It's actually like catching me off guard a lot. Like I want to turn into the ball and like I'm not facing it right at all. Oh, oh I, um, I my my brain did the no air roll thing because I can't press that button. So oh, I no, <laughs> that's rough. That's a two goal miss too. That sucks. I was like, you, you for sure have this. One, so. Was that? You gotta get used to those in ones though. Like oh yeah, accepting that you you messed up because like that's a like you, you'll forfeit off of those kinds of things if you don't have the right mindset. 
And like, oh, it's man, like, the oh, turns are so bad. Yeah, I went to drift there. <laughs> but yeah, you could like get in the mindset of like, I'll just forfeit because I'm so mad at myself for that. But like, but you just got to accept it and learn from it. Pause. Like, yeah, it'll happen. It's always going to happen. Stuff's always going to be there. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, like I can't land and turn. It's actually like so difficult. Aerials are good though. Oh, nice bump. Thank you. Yeah, because like, you actually have control of your car. Yeah, I think I should start <laughs> just doing more aerial plays probably. That was my first thought right there. I was like, you know, I can control myself in the air. Let me just go there. Yeah, because then you put yourself in a situation where you're controlling normal, but I have to deal with the turns on the floor here. Oh, what a save. No, I could power slide oh, to no. keep my yeah. momentum for the recovery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I make a good save. You could have recovered like a nor like normally you would have, and then you land yeah. like all floppy. It's funny. It's actually pretty good though. It's like close. Yeah, it's one of those handicaps again where it's like enough of a handicap to kind of make the game a level playing field. Nice grab. That was the 60 ping server. I was trying to figure out if it, if it was like west or something. Oh my gosh. Uh uh. Good challenge. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, the wide turn. I was like, you can't, you can't yeah. uh, chip it in any <laughs> I faster. Can't cut it. Yeah. That's all she does. Oh. Nice. Okay. All right, here we go. Not on target. Oops. Here we go. Around the around the world in eighty days. <laughs> but yeah, this is I, I I don't know which challenge I like better. I I think I like uh, the other one a little better just because of yeah, it was full control mind game. Yeah, like it was just like you had to just be smart game. about it. This is pretty close though. Yeah, I was gonna go for that mid, or then and then go for your corner, but I wasn't sure which one you're gonna go for. Oh no! Nice. Oh, patience. nice. Nice try. We still got it. Full control with the turns here. Oh no! no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, the drifting. Like I was too busy thinking about how I was gonna be able to get that ball all the way back around to the net without drifting. <laughs> yeah, it's like where do I turn to keep it going and. Not and get I, challenged easily. Exactly, not get pressured on the whole wide turn you do around the whole, <laughs> the whole field. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. It's yeah, tough. It's crazy. Oh, by the way, the the hyperx glasses I was talking about, uh, I find they're mm -hmm. like I don't I don't see the edges anymore. Like, I've I've gotten used yeah, to it. Yeah, like, like blend in. Yeah, no, it's good. Nice. I think in the long run, I'll, like the thing is, it's like one of those what could have been, you know? Like if I I wouldn't know the the harm, yeah. harmful effects. If nothing, yeah, if nothing happened, you don't know if it even helped or not. But oh no! It's worth it. Oh, oh, no drift on that landing. Hurts. Oh, <laughs> the <laughs> tried to drift. Oh, oh nice. You've got, you've had me a few times, but it's just like hard to execute the fi yeah. the finish because <laughs> it's just like so different. Yeah, like I said, like my brain is like ready to see my car do something with a power slide because I'm pressing it. Yeah, exactly. Like my brain's like automatically. So then I, my car doesn't do what I think it's going to. How do I change my positioning here to the way I want it to? <laughs> yeah, it's like, where do I go? I have to do this three point turn in the middle of the field. I've actually done like a few three point turns. It's kind of funny. My strat with the whole like turning quickly, I was like, I think I'll just like jump oh, and do shoot. a little wave dash. Like to the, like, oh yeah. But I just, my brain hasn't gone to that instantly yet. Like it's hard for me to just like decide to do that instead of thinking to drip. Or like you want to do like a 180, like a. Like yeah, a, like just a jump to jump to get a, a tighter angle than I could without drifting. But my brain just keeps trying to drift. Is that the strategy you were trying to like employ before? Yeah, that's what I was, I was like. I, I kind of have an idea of something I could do that maybe catches you off guard with quick turns. But uh. Just but, haven't been able to execute it, it yet. <laughs> yeah, my brain isn't just like instantly going to it. Because, you know, it's an in-the-moment decision. And it was actually, like, kind of messing with my brain, too, is that, like, I'm still, like, sort of avoiding the big boost pads a little bit sometimes. <laughs> like, part of my brain still telling me to not be there. Nice. 
Ah, oh, the drifts. No, no, no. Is it too fast? Oh, you've got it. Nice. I Just pushed up way too far. Yep. I pushed up way too far. I wanted to drift there and then turn into it. <laughs> we do a fake. It's like I'm like an 18 wheeler or something. Yeah, that would have worked in regular Rocket League, but that is not this. Oh, oh nice shot. Thanks. Wow. Yeah, I did like a weird delay. Like, I don't even know. Really far over. Yeah, I don't usually do these, but like that arrow right there to shoot it far yeah. further. But it's like one of those things where if you don't try it, then it won't, you won't ever score those. But you have the rest of the goal covered for sure. Oh no, the wide turns. Uh. Yeah, let me, let me take my tour de France real quick while I'm oh, <laughs> rotating. <laughs> tour de France. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Dude, going for those middle boosts is so scary because half the time you drive up the wall. Like if you, you have to kind of like Yeah, your turn it. is so far. Yeah. What? Oh, I've yeah. never in my 9,000 hours have I ever seen someone hit the volley that. Free flip gang. That's I'm true. I, I'm not free play and figure it out. <laughs> I don't have the uh, the patience for that. Nice no way. Nice, yeah, nice block. To what? Learn how to pre flip? Yeah, just or certain like, things like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, for me, luckily, like, I discovered pre flipping. Um, like in the beginning of my Rocket League playing is like those goals where you would oh, nice accidentally nice. score because you or like you would just flip forward and you'd run into the ball during your flip. Yeah. Like I started like I started thinking about how I could time where in my flip I get the hit. Right. So that was something that I've been like working on since I've been playing the game. Do you, do you know uh, Jalus's XXL pack? Um, like the redirect pack, Jalus. Like the he has like a bunch of uh, training packs. Um, like on mm, custom training. I'll I, just show you afterwards. I've seen, I've seen the XXL like packs before. Maybe it's his. But it's probably his. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice flip reset. Thanks. Um, there's this shot number thirteen. If you don't randomize your shots, shot number thirteen. Uh -huh. Like back when he first had it, I didn't even think of it as a pre flip. But I, that, I never tried anything else different to it. But I used to have yeah. fun with like pre flipping on this one shot, like doing a backflip thing. It was like some of the most fun like shots I've made in Rocket League and. Now that I realize it's like actually a pre flip, it's kind of kind of cool that people have like kind of perfected flipping yeah. early to get that like slight advantage. Like the my favorite types of pre flips are the ones that you have to jump, air roll a little bit, and then flip so that you catch the ball on your wheels like underside coming up on the flip. Oh yeah, yeah. those will get some power to them. You 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 posted a few on Twitter of those. Yeah, that's the one that I just took on you there. Oh, nice carry. Thanks. Uh, is I like jumped, air rolled a little bit, and then flipped to catch it with my wheel on the way over from underneath it. And like it's just it's an, an unexpected hit kind of upwards. Right. It's yeah. Just... Yeah. You you posted one on I think it was a salty short shot you had where it was like you were on the Dominus and you like scooped it in the last second with like a slight air roll. It was um oh. the new rocket pass car. Oh yeah, that one. But like yeah, I was like rotating back, and I flipped over like in front of oh I can't drift. <laughs> yeah. Um, dude. <laughs> I'm having trouble I... with like finding the shots on my way back to get a touch towards the net and I just like pinged it at the net. No, I want to like challenge you earlier and stuff, but I can't. I can see where you're going to turn to. I'm like, well, you can't drift or change his <laughs> direction. So I'll just like sit in the middle of that. What am I doing? Can't turn. Oh, oh. close. Yeah, it feels nice to be in the air. I'm not going to lie. Oh, That's what a save. Yeah, a little lucky there, a little lucky. Nah, that was a good save. Oh, just Ooh. nice, nice and lusty. Thank you. No Shout arrow will be, what was that? <laughs> Shout out to my boy Musty. Yeah, yeah. Did you <laughs> see my video on, uh, on being undercover? Like, oh, I just went to drift catch that. No, I didn't. I didn't. I saw on Twitter a thread about you guys talking about um, how easy it is to impersonate people. And yeah, that's to, yeah, that's sort of where I was coming video. from. Like on that video, like I'm probably gonna do a series where I do a bunch of players. I think it's kind okay. of it's, I think it's kind of cool. But at the same time, like that kind of content will be gone if they add titles, which I hope they do. Because yeah. I think there's a lot of a content I, creator title would be awesome. Yeah, I think there's definitely like a you know there's a boundary you have to make where it's not like oh there's it's a YouTuber a with a thousand. Thing. 
No, it's not yeah. elitist thing. It's like actually for scamming and all that stuff. Like it stops people from. There's a purpose. Yeah, and people are like, oh, well, what what do you stop it at, right? Like, well, YouTube has a verification system. It's, uh, yeah. Why can it not be any different for that? You know what I mean? Just like at a certain size, you earn that right of being a, a community figure. Like you yeah. have people recognize you, and people can abuse that. And there can be an applications like application system. Yeah, they yeah. can approve or deny it. Yeah. I think that Broccoli just doesn't have the firepower to, to do that, I guess, is what they were thinking, right? Because they don't have a lot of staff. Now that Epic's there, I mean... That's what I'm saying, got, like... They've got, got the Epic. help. Oh, that delayed oh yeah, I tried to get the... so long. Oh, I went to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I tried to do, like, a fancy tornado thing. Speaking of tornado, I actually can't do tornado flicks because they don't have like arrow right or left bound, but... Really? Yeah. It's the way of the future, man. You gotta get with it. Get with the times. I gotta put one on my left, right, right bumper or something. Change it up. Nice flick. Oh, that sucks. I think I had the goal covered there. Yeah, I think you did. I had to flick it before I did to get it over you. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay, good thing I explained you out because I... I wanted to land with a power slide there too. Nice control. I'm getting used to the wider turns. Like, I have to like come out wider. Like, I'm swinging yeah, in. Tell. Yeah, I'm swinging into them. It's harder for me to read your movement because I'm still not at the point where my brain just knows you can drift. Yeah, I found like game two I definitely learned, but like the first game I was struggling like so hard. Like, <laughs> getting used to the turns. I was still... Because it creates a new realm of, it's like different possibilities. You, you don't have to cover as much. And yeah, and that was like, because of like what we were talking about in the first video, how we think about the game a little bit differently. Like, um, we both think about it pretty logically, I'd say. Mm -hmm. And that comes into the whole, like our decision making is all about logic and what options are available, option coverage. Oh, that was trash. Ah, it almost threw me off those. You know, it was so bad it was good kind of thing. <laughs> I love those. Those are my favorite ways to score, being so bad that somebody just can't predict how bad I'm about <laughs> yeah. to be. <laughs> like when you're like, oh, they'll clear it off the backboard. Oh, they missed. There was an open net. Like, Yeah, that's something that I've, you, you got to learn to accept. Like you're you're playing the risk factor game when you like you tell yourself, oh, I could have been there for that. But it's like, yeah, but nine times out of ten, it'll like it's not, not going to happen. That. Yeah, that's so, what I say. You, like you, you got to go cover it. it properly. Yeah, you can go for it and you can sit there and tell yourself all day like next time i'll sit there and wait for it but then you're just gonna get cleared over more than you're gonna score yeah you're just gonna be out of position most of the time like it's those small chances where it's like oh okay yeah i could have been there i mean in 3v3 there's a lot more option coverage like as far as like individual players and what you can cover as a team but yeah you can cover like the whole field yeah, exactly so it is good sometimes to cover someone in that position where it's like what if they miss but at a professional level it's, it's you have such a respect for the your peers yeah you have to ex expect those hits yeah and and any little advantage you can get is like gonna be huge right so you want to be ahead of the game and not expect them to miss even though i feel like the game's getting so fast paced that it's almost you know more likely than it was in the past for people to make mistakes oh nice touch thanks like, you know, Siki and uh, who who made that own goal or whatever? Like, that's just because it was so Siki fast. Torso, something. Yeah, like, yeah, you're in a mindset of like, I have to go because if I don't, it's in. Yeah, it's like, it's not it, the, any lapse in communication in this game. It's like, you're going to cause misses mm -hmm. and mistakes. Just it's interesting how the the game's kind of gone, gone like cycled, sort of. I explained it a long time ago, like in a video where it's so in <sighs> it's kind of hard to explain, like back in the day people used to let the ball bounce off this wall right and come back into they'd mid wait for it yeah they'd wait for mid but then people started to go faster and start to read it so then the the time to jump at it became closer and closer to the wall and so now it's like because people know people can go super fast to the wall they're gonna wait for it, gonna wait for it to come back out to mid because Fake. the other person will respect yeah. it it's like so interesting how it's kind of came back to that yeah like it it, it went from like a if people weren't good enough to get there to okay i know somebody's good enough to get there so <laughs> yeah. i have to respect that he'll get there and you know be ready for when he does and both of you think you're gonna go so then you both wait and then it's yeah. like this whole like chess game oh, i love those yep. yeah this is exactly what 50 50 position away from the ball and that happens in even ranks too like the respect you have for just random opponents like it's come God, to a, nice. a natural expectation of people being good yeah. at a certain level 
That's why people get so mad in ranked. It's like, yeah, it's like, why were they doing that? Make a mistake. Yeah, it's like, why, why did they do that? Like, what's going on? And it's like, Come even on, dude, I'm human. Leave me alone. Back in the day, people used to just read the ball like on their on their own. But now it's like you're trying to read the teammates. You're trying to read the opponents. Like, what's happening next? And yeah. that's why I think people are more frustrated at teammates nowadays than they were in the past because people were more fo more focused on what they were learning. Yeah. But now everyone knows what they're doing. Oh, nice. I'm just going on a rant here. <laughs> I can talk about this stuff all day. Yeah, I can bitch about my ranked teammates all day too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just talking about in general. Like people just expect yeah, more. Yeah, no, it is. It is. Yeah, it's a new expectation because the game is just evolving. Like nice, you have fake. to jump to cover the flick because you expect me to, you know, be able to flick it. Back in the day, I, I would just yeah. Back that. in the day, I would just charge at that ball like a bull. But <laughs> I'm like, what is he gonna do? Yeah, that's why like that, that's why fakes exist is because the game has gotten so evolved that you like faking is you're playing off of somebody's expectations. <laughs> the widest turn. Yeah. Um yeah, I know it's like the fighting game champion thing I always bring up is like there's this fighting I can't remember the video. I have to find it at some point. Where this world champion fighter guy got beat to like by this random teenager guy that's just like plays the game casually <laughs> because he just wasn't ready for any of his strats. Yeah, he was like, "Oh, this guy's gonna come up and like fake a few times and like throw out a few jabs," but he just came in and punched him in the face over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. And even when you try to adapt, you're just you're conditioned. It's that muscle memory. Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice. Did I fake you there a little bit? Yeah, it looked like you were gonna doink that ball off your, uh, like off the the down bounce right here. Oh, I here. did touch it first. It was it was watching me. So like, oh I, yeah, you got like a little shadow touch or something. Or or I guess because you didn't touch the ball, it was just the next touch after. Mm -hmm. It might have been that. Maybe. Yeah. I was like, there's no way I touched that, right? Oh, did you get a foot reset there? I didn't. I tried to use it and it, nothing happened. I still I still am, am an advocate for like flip reset indicators. Mm, see, it's a skill because I knew I didn't get it there. Like I tried to press it in case I did, but I felt that I didn't get it. That's true. You know I, I, mean? I do agree with that, but at the same time, like there are some times where like fully you you hit your wheels as if um, you should have gotten it, and I think that because of a server connection or something, it yeah. looks totally different. I it's it's the ones where you get a flip reset and you use it, but then your car spazzes out. I hate those. Oh, that yeah. shouldn't be a thing. That shouldn't be a thing. If I get a flip reset. And I, I use it and my car visually starts a flip and then it spazzes out because the server didn't get the flip. That's where I draw the line. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, and it, it actually fakes out the opponents so bad in those. Like, I've seen the, the clip of Kadob doing it. It's so funny. So this this was part part two of a two video series. Definitely check out Verge. He's he only has 20 uploads, but he does like amazing like t tutorial kind of videos. Like you can explain it if you want. So yeah, I mean my my channel, um, my YouTube channel, it, it's not new. It's not a new channel. It's been, it's been up for a year. I've been uploading. But it, uh, I'm slow to upload just because I, I don't have time to work on content. But I, I put as much effort into these videos as I can. Uh, I try to make cinematic tutorials, a video that you'll sit down and enjoy watching um, and not realize you're learning something because it's not some 40 minute video teaching how to do something. It's like a under 10 minute video every time for the tutorials. And it's, it's a cinematic experience. It, it feels like a movie. And then at the end of it, you kind of go, oh, I guess I learned a few things along the way. Um, but I just I try to put in as much information in those videos as I can. Um, and, and I try to upload as frequently as I can, but they do take quite a bit of effort and time. So it takes me a little bit of time in between each one. Yeah, a lot of uh, editing. But, <laughs> yeah, tons, tons and tons of editing, but I, I enjoy it a lot. I really, I really like helping people get better at this game, uh, especially for me. Like that's, I just like learning about this game and, and being able to share that with other people because when, you know, being uh, somebody who started playing this game in preseason, we didn't have that luxury of somebody showing you what to do next. Right. We, we were just like figuring it out. And so if I can, you know, make my 6,000 hours of experience, someone else's 2,000 hours to get where I'm at, that'd be great. That's like the whole goal. So um, definitely check those videos out if you're interested in, in learning more about the game. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, I no worries. Fun as well. We should definitely do more of these.